Hello, good morning friends. Welcome back to your favorite channel Code One Digest. Today in this tutorial, we will learn about circuit breaker design pattern for microservices. Yes, friend, I'll explain you what is circuit breaker design pattern, where to use it, what are the advantages of this design pattern. I'll also give you the real world example of this design pattern. We'll understand the working of circuit breaker design pattern, how it works, what is the logic behind circuit breaker. So stay tuned and watch this tutorial till end. It is going to be very, very informative and very exciting. And there is a lot of learning involved in this tutorial. Friends, in the previous tutorial, I discussed about service discovery design pattern. Hope you would have seen that tutorial. So can you explain what is service discovery design pattern all about? If you have seen that video, so provide your answer in the comment section of this video. And if you have not seen that video, so please go and watch the previous video on service discovery. Service discovery is a very important design pattern in microservices. So you should know what is service discovery design pattern all about. The link to service discovery design pattern video is provided on your screen and also given in the description section of this video. For more information, go and watch the previous video on Code One Digest channel. What you need to understand, Susan, is that everyone has an agenda, okay? Okay, friends, so here is the agenda of this tutorial today. I'll give you introduction of circuit breaker design pattern. Then I'll explain you how the circuit breaker design pattern works. What is the logic? What is the reasoning behind this design pattern? Then we will see some real world example of circuit breaker design pattern. Then we'll understand where to use the circuit breaker design pattern how people are using it into their projects. Then we'll understand the benefit of circuit breaker design pattern. At the end, I'll summarize what we learn in this tutorial. And in the next video, I will also touch about blue green deployment design pattern. So stay tuned and watch this video till end. It is going to be very, very exciting and informative tutorial today. Friends, before we proceed in this video, I request you to subscribe this channel to grow Code One Digest family. Friends, I'm creating a lot of quality videos on programming, coding concepts, design pattern and design principles, cloud and container technologies, but I'm not getting subscribers. I request you to like, share and subscribe this channel so that I can grow a Code One Digest family. Thank you. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, friends. So now let's start with the circuit breaker design pattern. This is a third design pattern in cross-cutting concern design pattern category. Circuit breaker pattern allow developer to prevent cascading failures in microservice architecture. In microservice architecture, we have often seen that one service is calling other service and so on. We have a chain of service calling each other. And if one service is down, then other service get into retry mode and keep trying for the data. So in that scenario, to prevent that cascading effect in, in the application to the other services, circuit breaker is very, very useful. For example, this pattern works the same as an electric circuit breaker at your home. The electric circuit breaker at your home will automatically turn off and protect your electric devices in case of abnormal behavior in the power supply. Similarly, the proxy used in a circuit breaker pattern literally work as the electric circuit breaker. The circuit breaker pattern prevents an application from performing an operation that is likely to fail. The application can combine circuit breaker and retry pattern to invoke an operation and make sure that the application becomes fault tolerant. With the circuit breaker pattern, you can define a threshold value for the number of failures between two microservices. Implementing circuit breaker is easy. You need to wrap the external service call in a circuit breaker object which monitors the target service for failure. When there is an issue or failure with external service, the circuit breaker trips up and prevent any further call to failed service. The circuit breaker architecture pattern can provide great benefit for the fault tolerant design. This makes our application fault tolerant and also this helps application auto recover from the failure. Oh wow, that is really, that's amazing. Okay friends, so now let's understand how circuit breaker actually works. So if you see in the diagram what you have on your screen, uh, you have circuit breaker in between the user microservice and article microservice. If the article microservice is not reachable and giving you error, hence the circuit breaker trips up and it will prevent any further call to article microservice. So that user microservice is not hanging up and the timer gets started at circuit breaker. 
when the timer is over then circuit breaker will send a limited number of requests to articles microservice and see if the article microservice is reachable and providing the response successfully receiving successful response the circuit breaker allow all the requests to flow to article service if circuit breaker detect any more problem with article microservice it again trips up and prevent any further call to article microservice the proxy used in a circuit breaker pattern literally work as an electric circuit breaker with the circuit breaker pattern you can define a threshold value for a number of failure between two microservices the proxy will count the number of failure between microservices and automatically stop the request sending for a specific time if the number of failure exceeds the threshold value once the timeout ends the proxy will send the limited number of requests to check whether the microservice is up and running now if those requests succeeds the proxy will allow microservice to continue normal operation and if not the proxy will again start the timer so in simple term circuit breaker pattern is a fail safe mechanism to prevent cascading failure of microservices it has three states closed open and half open a closed state the initial state of a circuit breaker or the proxy is closed state the circuit breaker allow microservices to communicate as usual and monitor the number of failure occurring within the defined time period if failure count exceeds the specified threshold value the circuit breaker will move to open state and if not it will reset the failure count and timeout period open state once the circuit breaker moves to open state it will completely block the communication between the microservices so the article service shown in a diagram will not receive any request and user services will receive an error from a circuit breaker the circuit breaker will remain in the open state until the timeout period ends then it will move into half open state in half open state the circuit breaker will allow a limited number of requests to reach the article service as shown in a diagram if those requests are successful the circuit breaker will switch the state to closed state and allow normal operation if not it will again block the request for the defined time period what the hell are you talking about okay friends so now let's understand circuit breaker design pattern with a real world example let's understand the problem first in distributed environment call to remote resources and services can fail due to transient faults such as slow network connections timeout or resource being overcommitted or temporarily unavailable these faults typically correct themselves after a short period of time and a robust cloud application should be prepared to handle them by using a strategy such as a retry pattern however there can also be a situation where faults are due to unanticipated events and that might take longer to fix in this situation it might be pointless for an application to continuously retry an operation that is unlikely to succeed and instead the application should quickly accept that operation has failed and handle this failure accordingly additionally if a service is very busy failure in one part of the system might lead to cascading failures in other part of the application so what is the solution to this problem the solution to this problem is circuit breaker pattern circuit breaker pattern can prevent an application from repeatedly trying to execute an operation that's likely to fail allowing it to continue without waiting for a fault to be fixed or wasting cpu cycles while it determine that the fault is long lasting the circuit breaker pattern also enables an application to detect whether the fault has been resolved if the problem appears to have been fixed the application can try to invoke the operation a circuit breaker acts as a proxy for operation that might fail the proxy should monitor the number of recent failures that have occurred and use this information to decide whether to allow the operation to proceed or simply return an exception the proxy can be implemented as a state machine with the following state that mimic the functionality of an electrical circuit breaker closed state if a service is responding successfully to circuit breaker will be a closed state open state if service is out of order hence circuit breaker will be in open state and will not send any request to failed service half open state circuit breaker will send a few requests after timeout and validate the response if response is successful so circuit breaker will be closed and normal operation will continue if response is not successful from the service then circuit breaker will go again in open state and 
start the timer again really really now let's understand the circuit breaker design pattern with another example so friends if you see the left hand side of diagram and right hand side of sequence diagram you see a difference let's assume a scenario where service a call service b then service b call service c and service c call service d and without circuit breaker pattern if service d fails or any of the service fails so it will have a cascading failure as service d is down so service c keep calling keep trying to a service d and service c will go into hang state and it will impact the working of service b because once the service c gone into a hang state service b will keep trying or waiting for the response from service c and service b will also go into hang state and same will happen with service a a service a would be expecting a response from service b and service b is gone into hang state and service a is also now waiting or into hang state so one service failure would cause a cascading impact on all the services that we have in our microservice application you can see on the right hand side the service breaker pattern is there between the services and it monitors if the service d is not available then circuit breaker trips up it will not send any further request to service d and sends the error message to service c service c would know that service d is not available and only a small part of the functionality is impacted but service c is completely responsive hence the working of service b and service a is not impacted so circuit breaker patterns prevent the cascading failures of services from one service to other service <laughs> no okay friends so now let's understand where to use the design pattern use circuit breaker design pattern to prevent cascading failure use circuit breaker design pattern from preventing application from trying to invoke a remote service if the operation is likely to fail use this pattern to isolate the failure from rest of the system use this pattern to achieve the fault tolerant in your application use this pattern to auto recover microservices from the failure that adds the capability of self recovery in microservice architecture you're good okay friends so now let's see some of the advantages and benefits of circuit breaker design pattern circuit breaker design pattern helps in preventing the cascading failure circuit breaker pattern handles the error gracefully and provide better experience circuit breaker reduces the application downtime it is suitable for handling the asynchronous communication and also the state change of circuit breaker can be used for error monitoring and reporting circuit breaker helps in making the application fault tolerant and also help in self recovery wow okay friends so now let me summarize what we learned in this tutorial today i gave you introduction of circuit breaker design pattern then i explained you how the circuit breaker actually works then i gave you and explained you circuit breaker design pattern with the real world example then we understood the use cases of circuit breaker design pattern then i explained you the benefits and advantages of circuit breaker design pattern so friends let me know if you have already used this design pattern in your project or seen a scenario where this pattern can be useful please provide your answer in the comment section of this video sounds good man sounds good good plan good talk all right Friends in the next tutorial we'll discuss about blue green deployment design pattern we will learn what is blue green deployment design pattern we will see a real world example of blue green deployment design pattern we'll understand the use cases of blue green deployment design pattern and also the advantages of blue green deployment design pattern so stay tuned for the next video and keep watching code one digest if you are new to the channel so please do subscribe to our channel to grow code one digest family I understood the assignment.